Shalom Khabri, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. A quick take of our broadcast here this morning. We are seeing two stories. Uh, one new one breaking. Going to go to in just a minute. As Russia is warning of military intervention in Afghanistan. Uh, but first, before we go to the issue on Russia on Sputnik News there, I want to bring out real quick CK, CCOM. Uh, top U.S. military officer warns North Korea that U.S. military is ready. That is coming from General, uh, looks like General Dunford here in the photograph, uh, that they are ready in the event that sanctions were to fail. The comments by Marine Corps General Joseph Dunford in a series of meetings with senior South Korean military and political officials and the local media appeared to be in an attempt to ease anxiety over tit-for-tat threats. Uh, between President Donald Trump and North Korea while also showing a willingness to back up Trump's warnings if need be. Dunford, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, is, uh, is, is uh, uh, excuse me, I'm dealing with also the battery on this phone here, uh, has been warning, jeez, uh, Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Vernon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast here. Uh, General Dunford is warning that North Korea, uh, that the U.S. military is ready in the event that sanctions fail to launch a, a strike on North Korea. This is coming out on CCOM.com uh, news broadcast. Several other news medias are reporting this this morning. North Korea, meanwhile, has threatened to uh, lob four intermediate-range missiles into the waters near Guam, tiny U.S. territory about 3,200 kilometers or 2,000 miles from Pyongyang, North Korea's capital. This would be a deeply provocative act from the U.S. perspective, and there, uh, uh, there has been widespread debate about whether Washington would try to shoot the missile down if they actually fired them. Uh, in other news, more breaking, more serious news, Russia is also warned that they will resort to military force in Afghanistan. This is something no doubt not going to sit very well with the Pentagon uh, with this latest threat. Now Russia is not talking about targeting US forces but rather ISIS forces and they have been questioning what are these unidentified planes that are coming in and supplying ISIS forces in Afghanistan. Now oddly enough uh, we reported here on Israeli News Live here in the very recent past there that there have been U.S. made weapons in the ISIS uh, forces there in Afghanistan using those weapons even used by special forces. It's something that uh, Lorenzo on Already Happened had brought out on his own news site already, hyphen happen, uh, dot com. Check out Lorenzo's site there. And also he brought out this morning that Russia is looking on doing a military intervention in Afghanistan and is calling for the U.S. forces to leave the country if they cannot put a stop to ISIS. Uh, despite the efforts by the Afghan government, according to Sputnik here, and the U.S. Daesh, ISIS, ISIL, and Taliban continue to gain ground in the country, threatening to import terrorism to Central Asian states. Speaking to Sputnik, Afghan military analyst uh, Atukwala Amarko shared his views on whether Russia will intervene to tackle the terrorist threat. Uh, Zamar Kabulov, a high-ranking career diplomat of the Russian presidential envoy to Afghanistan, has recently remarked that the Afghan government in Washington are unable to counter the threat posed by Daesh uh, spread. Russia will resort to military force, according to the Sputnik Afghanistan report on that situation. We are definitely headed in a, in, a, in, in a direction that is not that good. I'm Stephen Benoon with a quick take of our broadcast this morning. We'll update you later this evening on other news. Shalom.